Hello guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, text feed, uh, field with text effect in a Canva. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit the small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep creating content for you? Thanks and now let's get started. So. First, we need to create the, the background image for the text. So first, I just uh, generating a normal, just a square uh, Canva filled with a solid gray. On the first one, I'm using the gradient and I'm not sure that was the best ID. Here I can see there is a much better to have just a solid one here is like the, the, the gradient is not that nice and also find some other issues with the length of the text so i try to fix what i created here so i'm just uh, came to here going to the elements searching for grunge graphics and uh, looking for some grunge effect and change the color to white increasing the size a bit to filling the the page on the previous one I used this one you can try of course different maybe not even this maybe this one is even better and of course changing again to white I'm not sure which one is better. Just uh, create a new page and I dig this one also. Like this. And uh, so change the color to white. That's not so visible, but maybe this one is too much. So then I'm just going to the apps and searching for lorem here's this uh, quick lorem I mean, not not lorem sorry lorem sorry by my, my bad and i just uh, paragraph one paragraph yes add to design and just once and increasing a bit Increasing the text box like this and uh, changing the font size to like to maybe to 40. This 40 is not good, I think. Uh huh, this one is better. Okay, the problem is I try to fill these gaps. Yeah, okay. And now, first of all, before I doing something, I just changed the font type to this uh, shiny regular. Actually, I don't know if this, this, this font type is exist in the Canva or not. I, as you can see, I uploaded. But if you find any other better uh, font type, which is better for your project, you feel free to use uh, any. And just here. Okay. And also decreasing the spacing, the line spacing. On it doesn't want to change in to the previous line. No problem. So now I just start to add just copy more and more 
until I came to the end of the document. First of all, this yes. Just start to play with the words to fill the the canvas as much as possible. So I think that now it's good. And now I just have to save it. Download page number. First I try page number two. Download and now copying this whole text and also download the page number three. Done. Both is downloaded. So I can go in back to the main Canva page, uploading those two projects. And here, going back to the elements, And we just have to add the going to so first I'll go to the, the frames and here we can uh, find the letters and just add the same text means text T E X a bit closer and the T adjust duplicated selecting all and going to the position and tied up and now group it this is a good trick if I would like to put them all the center but the whole group so just put it center and uh, ungroup YouTube is it ungrouped and click on center all the four letters is going to the center but when I group them the this is a the all four text the, the whole text is one object so i can uh, move it to the center or any place of the of the document and now i just ungroup and go into the uploads and i think just duplicating uh, this page so first i start with this and here i just put the other one so two, three, four, I just duplicate three times and here also two, three, four and just moving to the to the frames and you start to see which one is better this one or Yeah, I think this one a bit better due to the this grunge effect is a bit more visible. Okay, keep it this, and uh, also we can play a bit. Oh no! Double click on a on a letter, and now rotate. And here also double click and just start to rotate until I have the same angle as the text, more or less, like this. And here is the final result. The text is filled with a with a text. It's a pretty easy trick and uh, really really visible. I really like it. Hope so you also like it and if you really like it please do not forget to hit that small like button subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section if you are struggling anything on a canva or you have any comment about this tutorial please also visit my facebook page where you can find uh, lots of other tutorials not only from me also from other canva experts plus you can find a bunch of uh, text to image generation prompts for different uh, kind of uh, applications or if you are also interested on this area please feel free to visit my facebook page 
you can find the link in the description. But now this tutorial is going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.